Hi, this is Michelle McGrath for PCN's Arts and Entertainment News, and we're on site at the PAC in Duxbury, where the African Children's Choir is getting ready to perform with Social Conservatory's children's choruses. Listen in. I wanted to have a bunch of kids that have, I mean, taken care of from the word go, from when they enrolled into the choir to the time they go back to Uganda to go to the African Children's Choir Primary School. Mm -hmm. So I really prayed about it. I was like, God, I really want to have a bunch of kids. I have mentored myself. So when this opportunity came up, I just grabbed it because I was praying for that. And for me, it was a prayer answered. Are you enjoying your tour? Yes. How's the music? Is it really exciting? Yes, it's really exciting. Do you think when you go back home to Uganda, you're going to keep singing these songs? Yes. What's your favorite? My favorite song is Sing. Well, that makes sense, considering that's what you're doing here, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Had you seen snow before you came to the United States? No. What was the first thing that you did when you saw snow the first time? We ate it and played in it. I bet you did. That must have been so fun. Have you been enjoying this tour? Yes, Aunt. Where's, where's your been your favorite city to visit so far? New York City. New York City. I bet that was a lot of fun. The concert tours uh, raise funds for all of the programs of music for life. Um, it started back uh, almost 30 years ago now, back in 1984, uh, with one uh, choir that came over. Um, and we're the 40th choir to go out there. have been now 41. Once they're in the choir, their education is covered up until the end of college or university, which is also pretty exciting. <laughs> This experience of bringing kids in their own, their different cultures, their different worlds, but everything comes together through that power of music. All proceeds from tonight's African Children's Choir concert go back to Uganda to support their mission. Michelle McGrath for PCN's Arts and Entertainment News.